The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. For almost a year now, the people of the Diocese of North Carolina have been raising up their hearts and their voices and their hopes in prayerful discernment for the calling of a bishop suffragan to help lead us into Galilee. Galilee is a rich metaphor for the challenges and opportunities that await us in the missionary fields of the 21st century. I'm Ann Hodges Koppel. I'm the rector of St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Durham, and I am honored and humbled to be a part of this conversation. I'd like to read a collect from the Book of Common Prayer that I believe captures some of the tensions we feel as we are called to explore this somewhat familiar and yet somewhat strange new terrain we call Galilee. O God of unchangeable power and eternal light, Look favorably on your whole church, that wonderful and sacred mystery. By the effectual working of your providence, carry out in tranquility the plan of salvation. Let the whole world see and know that things which were cast down are being raised up, and things which had grown old are being made new. For some of us, tranquility is something we yearn for a great deal of the time. We are drawn to the tranquility and the beauty of our worship and the trustworthiness of scripture and tradition. But for many others who seek a deeper understanding of God, they don't know where to begin to look. And yet the good news in that is that the old is being made new and new things are being raised up. Let me give you an example of some of that as I'm experiencing it here at St. Luke's. We have beautiful brick buildings on our campus church grounds. These bricks came um, in 1960, where the first building we built was a kindergarten. At a time when kindergartens were not in public schools, where early childhood education was a pioneering field, and the good people of St. Luke's were pioneers in that endeavor. And now, once again, we are pioneering in the field of early childhood education, as now the bricks and mortar of our church school are turned to be a resource for the education of young learners whose first language is Spanish. St. Luke's, along with other Episcopal parishes in our diocese, are part of the Latino Education Achievement Partnership. We're coming together in new ways to do the good things we've always done, to care for God's children, and to see that they are nourished in mind, body, and spirit in ways that will bring forward their God-given potential to share with the rest of the world. It's exciting, it's new, and yet it's what we've been called to do all along. I see in the role of Bishop the opportunity to enter through doors of power where the Bishop can give voice to those who are powerless or voiceless and particularly in my own mind concerned in the state of North Carolina about two issues, one being immigration and the other being the environment. One of the greatest gifts for North Carolina right now is new brothers and sisters in Christ from other countries. I believe the bishops of North Carolina along with the rest of the people of North Carolina must be sure that we are ready to engage when and if necessary to defend the human rights of those who are struggling to find their rightful place in a society that will give them opportunities for economic, political, social well-being and growth. These are complicated issues, but the church must be present and perhaps the bishop will have opportunities to be present in specific ways to give voice to these concerns. North Carolina is going to face some very challenging issues in the very near future about the best use and best practices of our natural resources. There's going to be some complicated questions about offshore drilling, about hydraulic fracking, about how we meet necessary energy needs of the future in ways that are responsible not just to the earth, but responsible to those same future generations. 
A church of Galilee, which is looking for new ways to do new things, must be ready and equipped and able to look at public policy issues. And I hope the new suffragan bishop will be excited to be engaged in those conversations. This is Galilee, to be imaginative, to be wide open, to be looking for opportunities. But I would love to take my energy, my talents, my experience as a former community organizer, as a former battered women's shelter director, as a campus minister, and join with you and look for the new ways God's calling us forward to take on these challenges. Why do we want to stay comfortable? Can you think of a disciple of Jesus that stayed comfortable after the resurrection? Let's stay challenged. All God's asking us to do is to join in the adventure ahead. And I look forward to being some part of that adventure ahead with you.